are heading back to Yellowstone National Park. How many times have we been there? Five. <laughs> I think the first time that we went there was May 1st. May 1st because oh, yeah. that's when they open. That's when they're supposed to. Yeah. And we we took one trip there just to the entrance to see what the drive was going to be like. And then we went there in in May and we went back quite a few times and we went through different entrances too. We went through the northeast entrance and we saw, I think that's where we saw the most wildlife. Um, so Hopefully that's, we'll see more today. Yeah, so, but we're going to see what this is like in spring and the summer and now this is late summer it's August here so and each time the things have changed it was there was snow on the ground the first time we drove through there a lot of snow. a lot of snow and so it was really nice to see, see it in in when things were starting to warm up and, and there was no more snow on the ground. And there was flowers. And flowers, yep. So we're gonna see what's changed this time around and see some wildlife, hopefully. And I think we're gonna go back in the fall and see what it looks like in fall. Too. Oh yeah, so, I look forward to that. Yeah, that should be really cool. So. So, um, we're so, on our way again. Now we have the golden news of summer. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on our way again, and we're going to see what uh, Yellowstone is like in late summer. Yeah, see the differences, and that's wonderful. That's a great thing. Okay. Love, love to explore. And this is exploring Yellowstone at, at each and every little change mm -hmm. of the seasons. And that's nice. We we don't have winter, and we're probably not going to get winter because I'm allergic to snow. <laughs> so well, we did something close to that in in April or May, right. should yeah, I yeah. say? So that should be good. I mean, they just opened it up because there was they cleared enough snow, yeah. so that you could drive through the park. But there so, was plenty of snow there. So. Come along with us. Welcome to Chasing Landscapes. We're Jack and Mary, and we're full-time RVers, traveling the country and exploring new places. I'm an artist, and we're always looking to capture our adventures on canvas. So come along with us as we go chasing some landscapes. So it takes a, about an hour to get from Cody to the east entrance of Yellowstone. And traditionally, once we've reached the fishing bridge, we usually turn left to go south. But this time, we're turning right to go north towards the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. And something else that piqued our interest called Artist Point. Whenever you go to Yellowstone, expect for it to be an all-day event. It's a good idea to bring some food and drinks with you, because Yellowstone can be an expensive endeavor. But remember, don't feed the bears and don't pet the fluffy cows. This is where the buffalo roam. This area of the park has the most scenic views. I can already see why. Whoa, there's a bunch more. Gosh, there's a lot. I would like to see something else. Some elk or something. Look at how many bison are out there. Yeah, look. It's a nice cool day out here. It's been really, really warm and cody right now. Hey, what are those two up to? Hey. Oh, gosh. Well, glad I missed that. Yeah. 
He's digging around in the dirt. A male will roll around in the dirt to leave its scent and to show strength and dominance during mating season. It's called wallowing or rutting. This, these two are hollering at him, or that one right there is. Oh, I wonder if they, uh, that's how they show dominance. It's like, there, you got that one right there. And this one, they might be competing for her. Right. And then that one over there. So back off, nobody's getting my girlfriend. It's a standoff. to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. I can't go that way, and I can't go that way. Oh, look at them. They're crossing. We'll just stand right here for a few minutes. Yeah, they don't care. Oh, they're coming this way. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like to see what happens here, but we could be here for hours. Yeah. This is where the bison were walking right. into the parking right. lot. See here. Ooh, that's pretty. This side's even nicer looking. I wonder where we can park nearby. Oh, right up here like just to go down onto the bridge if we can find a parking spot for this beast okay so this couple just went walking up into this this trail and about two minutes later they came running back down saying there was a bear back there we're all gonna stand together and see if we could see it <laughs> All these people are looking around for it. Is this the world's stupidest idea or what? It's supposed to be back up in there. Oh, I see something moving back there. 
Buffalo. Did you guys actually walk upon those stairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the pile of poop right there. Well, we don't know if that was the bear oh. or the bear. Or well, the we saw buffalo, the bear though. So. And so we saw, we were like, oh, there's a fresh thing. And I look up and right in those trees, it was a giant bear. Oh. And we ran. <laughs> I'm not supposed to run, but I ran. You're not supposed to run. <laughs> <laughs> I walked slowly and then I turned. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's a buffalo still back there. I would have to check my Yeah, car. there's a buffalo oh, still back there. <laughs> Get that bear spray handy. Yeah. I saw you guys go go up in there and, and you're like run, you're running out like two minutes later. Yeah, <laughs> like, right in those trees on the right. People make a lot of noise, right? Yeah, make a lot of noise. Yeah, they don't. That's what you're supposed to do. You know what that's supposed to be loud, right? Maybe you ran that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you we don't want to go too far. Oh, no, you guys are reading us the whole hike, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like he's hurt. Yeah, he's limping a little. Or he's like jumping. Oh, is that what that was? He kind of really so. yeah, Oh, he does. So he can't run at us. I'm a little braver now. <laughs> There's a clearing here. Where could it go? Maybe it got attacked by that bear. Aww. What's crazy is like, like we did everything we're not supposed to do. We turned our back <laughs> and ran the other way. <laughs> well, I figured I was running to a bunch of people. So somebody's gonna fight him. Oh my God. Maybe it was a good thing that we didn't find that bear. I'd hate to leave Jackie behind in the dust. When we first came here, we came in through the northeast entrance, but there was a road closed. There was this road was closed when we came through came through. So we weren't able to come down this road. So now we're getting to see it for the first time. So I think this is pretty amazing. It's so gorgeous out here. I can't even explain it to you. Okay, we're right here at Artist Point. We're on the South Rim Drive. We crossed that little bridge right down there. And this is called the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. So let's go check it out. Now there's no a, there's a picture. There's way. A That's a painting. Wow. Look at that. Again, the depth perception. Isn't this absolutely amazing? Now you can see a waterfall down there. Oh my gosh. Let's go get a better view at that waterfall. I could hear it before I could see it. Wow. Dudes. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing. Look at this tree, how it's growing out. I'm hanging on. So 
so you go around in a little loop here and the the scenery is just breathtaking look at how far down that is oh my gosh this canyon is approximately 20 miles long more than a thousand feet deep and 1500 to 4000 feet wide there's the river way down there. Little spot. I could see why you would call this Artist's Point. Look at the colors. There's a little bird in that tree down there. All right, let's go to this higher point. Okay, we're up at the canyon viewing area. Can you imagine what it was like for the first person to discover this place. They probably never wanted to leave. There is an upper and lower falls, but both cannot be seen at the same time. I believe this is the upper falls area right here. We'll get a closer look at it in a little bit. So here's one of those Yellowstone tour buses that we saw at the, the Cody Parade. I didn't know they still use these things. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Get the authentic experience. Here's the upper falls. The bridge we crossed a little while back. All right, we're at the upper falls. Let's go down here and check it out. It's really green along this mountainside. So pretty. your favorite place you've seen I think mm -hmm. that is the number one question that is asked from everyone who we tell where's your number one place and that question is so hard to answer because yeah. every place is special in its own way um, and I can't think of any one state that I didn't have a good time in I can't think of, you know, there could be different uh, 
campsites or something like that that might not be as good as one's better than the other but as far as what's their favorite state well you know i love yellowstone in wyoming i love moab and in utah i love all of utah all of wyoming i love albuquerque new mexico it was fantastic to see the balloon lift off wow we saw the balloon festival so that that also matters is what you do in the location and uh, how you take advantage of it what would you want to see first if you if you could just go there I think I would like to go see Maine oh yeah yeah Maine um, Boston well I've, I've been to Massachusetts and it's a really beautiful place but I've never been up to as far as Maine so I've never been to Plus, I love lobster, so yeah. gotta try lobster roll there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was really looking t forward to going, like last year, but there was there was all kinds of um, weather problems. There was fires going on in Nova Scotia. There was. There was floods in Vermont and that area, and so I'm kind of glad we missed that that part of you know the the problems there. But um, I I would really still love to go and see Maine and and Vermont and Connecticut, all of those those places, Upper New York. I, I look forward to seeing all those buffalo, buffalo and, and yes. Niagara Falls. Yeah. Um, but I don't look forward necessarily to driving on those roads. I think um, because my understanding is they they weren't built for a forty foot. <laughs> yeah, we might have a problem. <laughs> and, uh, and maybe I heard there's not a whole lot of harvest hosts back there either. Huh. Um, and the RV parks might be tight. Tight. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. So that's just a. That's just a. Um, a question that I still have. You know, and this is. We've changed our. Our traveling experience. We we did an awful lot of week here, a week there, a week here, and now we're doing months at one place and then months at another place and we're finding advantages to that yeah you get to explore the the area more you know when we first started and we went through the south like mississippi alabama uh, louisiana we didn't really stay that long no in kentucky and there's so much left to explore we just need to take the time to do it plus like we would go from a Saturday to a Saturday because he worked remotely and if you work all week long guess what you don't get to do you don't get to go out and explore right so um, we would see a couple highlights we would see just a few things before we had to go to our next place so and it's more expensive to stay somewhere for a week than it is, uh, amazingly enough, to stay there a month. So it's more economical to stay in a place for longer. Plus, you get to know the people around you as well. So You get, you get the sense of community. Yeah. Which is nice. And we've met some really great people just in the couple of months that we've been it here in Cody so and you get to hear from them on some special places to go see and visit. yeah yeah because uh, they they're going and doing their excursions too and they come back and report to us <laughs> so, so yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool we have good neighbors here we find good neighbors everywhere yeah 
right, here we are. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of rams. Big, is that big horn yep, sheep? Yep, big horn sheep. And they climb up those They're things. like, get out of my way. <laughs> so, so slow. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. We had an excellent time discovering Artist Point and not getting eaten by a bear. Thanks for coming. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Do you have a question, comment, or suggestion? Please let us know. We like talking to you. We'd sure appreciate you liking and subscribing to our channel. Be sure to hit the notification bell and please share, share, share with your friends.